so let's look at um so we were playing this guard passing as a cycle we never go past the toe line um, I get Tyrone on his back and then from this position we can start I don't want his feet pointing at me so we looked at moving into split squat so now I'm starting to get past his knee line and control his hip line so obviously from this position now as I start to look for upper body control walk his hips back the next stage of the pass is moving from control of his hips to control of the head now if I've just passed the Tyrone's right side nine times out of ten head control will be done with a cross face or a reverse cross face so we need a kind of weapon or a wedge to stop um, Tyrone controlling my head. So uh, let's look at three things that we can do from here. We'll look at that. And again, this can be done off, you know, every pass we've covered, we'll, just, we'll do the first one just on the knee slice pass. So again, Tyrone doesn't go past. Maybe I'm, I'm playing a seated guard, so 11 changes gets me down. From this position, now he's gonna move into split squat. So now he's getting to that demarcation line, that sweet spot. From this position, as he starts to win the underhook, notice the way now Tyrone's bringing his, um, his left shoulder towards me. So I'm just gonna be wedging from this position. My hand is not letting him come down to this position. And now as he starts to initiate his pass, I'm already starting to connect my, um, right knee to my right elbow and again this is already moving into my whole escaping I'd be moving my body back and now from here Jerome's not going to stay there he's probably going to try and get back to his knees again if we look at that from a Tori pass so our first one's really just um, framing with our hand on the on the shoulder if we just go from a Tori pass position we cut an angle and as he moves in, so again, from here, my right hand is just going to be framing on his left shoulder, sort of left bicep, where his, where his bicep meets his shoulder. And now from there, I'm starting to connect my right knee to my right elbow. He wants to close the distance, and I'm, I'm wedging to keep him back. And now from this position, I can start to re-guard, get my center line back. Anytime he cuts an angle, I want to get my center line back. So just one more time on that one. So he makes his grips, he cuts the angle, and I'm just framing. So my right hand is connected. And even though he's pushing this way, I can start to connect my right knee to my right elbow. And now I'll be moving my head back. And from, I mean, if I cannot get my knee past this hip and we end up here, uh, and I feel he's about to pass, my legs coming over, and we're under a scissor guard position. As Tyrone tries to continue the pass, he probably push that leg down, and as he does, I'm back into regarding. Now, sometimes what can happen is, I'm gonna say, bro, if he's really tight with that shoulder, sometimes you just don't have the profile to, to put your hand on his shoulder, so we look for the collar instead. So if he goes to that same pass again, and maybe now he's turned, so now, He's slightly more into the pass, so my hand is fine if I'm more here. But if I'm more here, I don't really just have the angle to make that wedge. So my right hand is just going to find that collar. As he continues to pass, I just come up on my elbow. And now from there, I can butt scoop back. Put him back in my guard. One more time on that. So our second one will be the cross collar. He makes grips, he cuts an angle. See the way now he's kind of more into the pass, he's more perpendicular. So my right hand, just move this way, bro. My right hand finds that collar. And now from there, I'll build the base to my elbow. Now I need to get my center line back. I just move my hips back. And get back into being offensive from that position again. Maybe he's cut the corner even more. So now I can't even find the collar. Notice the way he's turned even more. So this time we can find the wrist. So even though he's made the grip on the pants, my right hand finds his left wrist. 
Now I need to get my head higher than his as a stiff arm. And even though he's driving my feet into the mat, I put them on the mat. And now I can get my center line back by just moving my hips away as he tries to initiate the pass. I'm back into making grips, getting my center line back and being offensive. So hand on the shoulder, cross collar or on the wrist by whatever pass he uses.